Now, I'm going to demonstrate to you some other input methods. So, as I have already mentioned, um, Xbox 360 controllers um, use this um, X input method. But there are some games which were released before that, or maybe even some games that were released after that, after the Xbox 360 era. And these games do not support uh, X input. They may be using direct input, or maybe even some other kind of API, and I personally don't know what it can be, but I have had some problems with some games. Uh, so, you have got a program, which is simply amazing, and it allows you to play games that require such input as uh, keyboard or mouse control. So it's called Joy to Key. It's called Joy to Key. Uh, it's a shareware program, and what you have there is uh, an ability to fully configure your joystick, to fully configure your gamepad, and to emulate movements of your keyboard or mouse or yes, I think that's it. But anyway, this is just amazing. I mean, the uh, flexibility of this program is simply amazing. So, um, here's the main profile, my default profile that I usually use. And in this profile, I have got the configuration, which is um, the default one for many action games, uh, including first-person shooters. Yes, you can play first-person shooters here, and I will demonstrate to you how I play Doom 3. And actually, I did beat uh, Doom 3 using this device uh, without any particular auto aiming uh, experience or anything like that. So uh, it's actually very, very um, comfortable to play. So, anyway, um, here is the configuration that I'm using. Uh, for this left stick, we've got W, A, S, D. Uh, the D-pad is responsible for cursor keys, for the arrow keys, up, left, right and down, respectively. Um, the start button is something that I use for escape, right, because escape usually evokes the menu, not in games anyway. Um, this stick, the right stick, is used for mouse controls. And in terms of mouse controls, there are lots of different uh, ways that you can do that. So, let's take a look. <coughs> there are tons of customizable options. So, what I did, uh, I just experimented a little bit with that and found the setting that I personally find uh, comfortable. So, uh, every time that I press left, I've got mouse cursor movement on the x-axis and it moves 19, I don't know what, pixels, points, degrees, well, not degrees anyway, but anyway, it's uh, minus 19. Minus it means that it moves left, yes. Obviously, uh, the right will be plus 19. And I also enabled um, analog acceleration. Uh, so towards maximum input, we accelerate by three times. Uh, what does that mean? It means that there is some mouse acceleration, which is uh, really nice, it's actually a very comfortable feature if you do that. Uh, it means that you can maybe turn around faster when you are looking in a first-person shooter, for example. So, you can also adjust mouse cursor speed while the button is pressed, yes. Mouse click, it's also available. Some yeah, this is something I haven't experimented with yet, but I think it will be especially useful for such things, for such games as, um, you know, top-down RPGs, Diablo style, for example. Um, here you can uh, emulate absolute position movement of a cursor. So what does it mean? It can mean, for example, that you will uh, be holding the cursor button and automatically, for example, holding left click and basically it can mean that 
even in games that do not support joysticks, such as, for example, I don't know, Diablo 2, you will be able to move uh, just using the uh, stick, the analog stick. But I haven't experimented with it yet. Ooh, when I do, I will show you the results. But I think they're going to be um, really pleasant. Uh, okay, so as I have already mentioned, <coughs> this is the mouse emulation. Uh, this button uh, I'm using for tab. This one is enter. And there you have some other buttons which are often used in uh, action games. Space, Control, Alt and uh, what else? Shift, yeah, and Shift. And the triggers are responsible for mouse buttons. The left trigger is the left mouse button, the right trigger is the right mouse button. Some people may prefer to reverse that and of course they may feel free to do that. So, here is this thing and I'm going to be using this profile for the majority of games I have here. The majority of games that I'm going to be using with joy to key And the first game I'm going to show you is something I have already mentioned, is Doom 3. Okay, so Doom 3. Doom 3 came out in 2004 and it's a game that was, you know, really mind-blowing for that time. I mean, I couldn't run it uh, with maximum settings on my machine and actually very few people could and it used some shaders, some crazy shading, real-time shadows and uh, you know the technology was mind-blowing the gameplay for me personally wasn't really really something that I liked it wasn't really something amazing but it did work and uh, I didn't beat the game by the way when it came out so it's only now that I had a full experience of Doom. Okay, so a couple of words about the settings, about the frame rate, because this is the issue that we're going to be talking about uh, every time. Uh, for example, the Pinball Effects game uh, that you have just seen has something that I would call a full compatibility. Yeah, it's absolutely compatible with the machine. There is no slowdown, no glitches. Um, you don't have to lower any settings. Well, except maybe for one that I mentioned, but it doesn't mean any loss of quality, in fact. So, uh, what about Doom 3? It is a very technologically advanced game anyway. Even today, it doesn't look very old, to be honest with you. So, let's look at settings. Let's look at settings. Um, I'm using the classical uh, 4x3 resolution, the high-res 4x3. Uh, it's 1024 by 767 By the way, uh, as you might understand, this is similar to the uh, 720p, yeah, the, uh, so to say, HD ready standard that was so widely advertised when uh, PS3 came out, yeah, and uh, games were capable of that, and we were screaming, oh yes, HD gaming, but PC has had HD gaming uh, for, I would say, about 15 or 16 years already, and we don't scream about that, this is something we take for granted, because uh, we have always enjoyed uh, high-resolution gaming, so. Uh, I did enable vertical sync, but I disabled anti-aliasing. Uh, it really slows down the system and I don't want to have a lot of uh, performance loss. And I also disabled motion blur. Motion blur is something I dislike. Motion blur is something I disable even if it doesn't cause any performance hits. You know, I just don't like it. I just don't like motion blur in general. Uh, it's an overused feature. Motion blur, lens flare, um, bloom, these are just things I dislike. Texture load bias, yeah? What is texture load bias? I actually couldn't understand that for a really long time, uh, but now I know that LOD stands for level of detail, and basically it means that the closer you are to the 
uh, object that has a texture, right? The higher the level of detail of this texture should be, right? So basically, by this very complicated, seemingly complicated thing, we mean that uh, if we turn this to the max, we will be using the lower quality textures. Just look. Do you see it? Yeah? That's definitely something blurry, something with um, high degree of pixelization. And as we go to the left, we get a slightly high level of textures. So, this is it. Uh, so, yeah, once again, once again, uh, we didn't sacrifice anything except for anti-aliasing. Didn't sacrifice almost anything in terms of uh, performance. But the game does run nicely, as far as you can see. Now, uh, <laughs> I'm not extremely good at Doom, but uh, as I have already mentioned, I did beat this game. Now, this game, this is an expansion which is called uh, Resurrection of Evil. So. I'm currently not in a very good situation where I get killed, but I will get past that anyway. So, uh, okay, let me show you. Let me show you some other level from the original Doom 3. Now, one of the reasons why I dislike Doom 3 is that because it's a, a survival horror game. It's not actually a game um, which can be considered a purely 3D action game, the classical one. And I really dislike that. Very narrow corridors, and you spend most of the time just going through the Mars base, which is huge, just simply huge. There isn't much to do, so that's the thing. Okay, so as you can see, Doom 3, very nice compatibility, right? So this BFG edition, uh, where you also have a nice uh, function to be able to use the flashlight at the same time as your uh, weapon. This is something that was absent in the original Doom, but there was the so-called duct tape mode. And using this duct tape mode, you could easily uh, switch on the lights. Well, in hell, it's not actually important because it's already very bright in hell, thanks to the hellfire and what have you. Right, but in some levels it was crucial. In some levels it was crucial because otherwise you would be just uh, running scared and expecting a zombie at every corner and there usually is a zombie at every corner in every dark corner they just sit and wait for you patiently so that, that, that's not a very pleasant experience I should say okay so once again this is Doom 3 highly recommended for the tablet owners and uh, no uh, compromise so far I should say you don't lose anything in terms of quality and the game can easily be played with these controls you see I can aim fairly well I should say maybe some people would like to uh, fiddle with the mouse sensitivity settings right because maybe for some people it's not very uh, comfortable to have low sensitivity or maybe they would like to have a slightly higher sensitivity to be able to aim better. I don't know, I just strafe and uh, shoot and uh, I actually don't die so often. Anyway. Okay.